of um, the International Agribusiness Fellowships. An opportunity for individuals working within the area of agribusiness to enhance their current skills through an um, international applied research program. This fellowship is intended to support individuals in their own career development, as well as provide an opportunity to drive leading practice and innovation within the Australian agribusiness industry. Uh, presenting these awards will be John Baker, uh, CEO of the former Food and Agribusiness Solutions Organisation. Now that organisation uh, closed its doors a number of years ago, but very, very generously bequeathed funding to ISS Institute. Uh, and we have been delivering fellowships um, as a legacy to the work that they, uh, that, they that that organisation did. Uh, and we thank them for the uh, general support we've received over many, many years. So John, can I please uh, ask you to come up? And um, thank you. And uh, also Mark, would you like to come up and uh, present the awards uh, in tandem with John? Now, I'm not sure if our first recipient, yes, thank you very much, Nick. Okay, so our first uh, recipient of uh, the Agribusiness Fellowship this evening is Jody Gertz. Now, Jodie's fellowship will see her travel to the US to explore methods to combat the primary cause of honeybee colony deaths globally. These techniques will be adapted to Australian environments and beekeeping equipment, developing standardised methods for incorporation into Australian selective breeding, breeding programs, as well as communicated to the wider beekeeping community. So can I please ask you to put your hands together to congratulate Jodie. And uh, our second uh, recipient this evening, um, Emma Knowles. Now, Emma's fellowship is going to focus on sustaining and increasing the uh, authentic art of dry stonework in Australia through the development and implementation of an onshore accreditation system that reduces the need for people to have to travel to Europe to gain certification. Through this process, she hopes to help create employment opportunities for unemployed people in rural areas with a focus on, uh, particularly on women and people from um, Indigenous backgrounds. So can I please ask you to all put your hands together and congratulate Emma. <laughs> Thank you. And if you'd like to all make your way over for photographs, that'd be great. Thank you, Mark. <laughs> Thank you, Keith. Okay. I'm now delighted to announce the 2018 Italian Australian Foundation Fellowship recipient. Uh, but firstly, I would like to formally thank Bruno Pasquale, the chair of the Italian Australian Foundation Board, for joining us this evening and for your generous support over many, many years. The um, Italian Australian Foundation Fellowships provide an opportunity for Australian residents of Italian descent to acquire high level skills and drive leading practice and innovation in Australia. It is uh, imperative that these fellowships demonstrate potential benefits for an application in Australia. And uh, just as an aside, you are not compelled to travel to Italy, uh, but obviously because a lot of the fellows are of Italian descent, many of them do choose to do so, uh, including our recipient um, of, our, of the 2018 <coughs> Italian Australian Foundation Fellowship, who unfortunately couldn't be with us this evening. Uh, now that recipient was Luca Lettieri, uh, and he's only just recently returned from Italy. Um, and uh, Lucas's fellowship gave him the opportunity to travel back to southern Italy, the birthplace of his father, to investigate the tradition of peasant Italian folk art and craft, specifically as it relates to furniture making. And the aim of this fellowship is to further develop his furniture making skills whilst working to preserve cultural and traditional regional skills as part of that process. Um, so uh, unfortunately, as I indicated, Luca couldn't be with us, um, but perhaps we can quickly applaud him in absentia.